Alright, so I'm gonna continue recruiting. Starting with Sorensen. He's being a little bit tricky with me. We saw the scene with the girl. Uh, I forget her name, unfortunately. Uh, on a first visit to the streets. But nothing really happened after that. So we're gonna try and get back to the revolving bridge. And talk to those guards and just see if anything happens. Though I don't remember how to get to the revolving bridge. I'm trying to go to the other side this time. I approached from the southeast, I wanna. Or from the. From the southwest, I guess. No, the southeast, yeah. I wanna try entering from the southeast. Something like that. Um, maybe it's the Eastern Wharf. Actually, I don't even know if I can access that spot anymore. That was near the beginning of the game, so... I'm thinking if there's ever the spot to go, it's here. Definitely. I wonder if the game is getting harder or if I'm just not doing something. Am I missing like a key part of the game? <laughs> That's very possible too. Alright, this is the Eastern. I know this is Rainbow, excuse me. I've mostly been battling up until this point. So I shouldn't be far behind this. Oh great, this is it. No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. Not great. What the heck is this? So it must be a pretty low chance, at least. Good. Good. Hopefully, she doesn't have one health. Yeah, 
not too averse to traveling far distances just because um, I have the mirror now, the teleport mirror. That's really nice. Gotta get the guy some armor if he's gonna be my tank too. While I'm here, I might as well just talk to him. <sighs> See if he says something different. So how do I heal in here? Can I just go to bed? I think I've tried this already.
how there's one way there, I think this might be quicker. They're going north here. It's the beast. Yeah, this was the hole. I don't think I can go to that dock. That is to the left of me. Hard village. Backpack it all the way. I'll continue my Final Fantasy run while I do this. Uh, pretty short now. What's next? 12? I have good things to say about 12. I really like 12. 12 is a game that I and probably many other people did not fully appreciate when it first came out. I think it came out the same year as we did 5 actually. But it's true that 12 was kind of a mess when it first came out, and it does have its flaws, but I applaud them for doing a lot of work and fixing it up. The original license board was very dull. It was just a, kind of a bad version of 10 Sphere Grid. But they, they really worked it up and they gave, you know, they made classes, they made subclasses really let you customize the characters so they were actually different. And like the Zodiac Age shows all of the, the pros. <laughs> Brings out all the best qualities of 12. I played the international version of Patch on a PS2 later a few years ago when I played the Zodiac Age again this past year actually. I really like it, like that game just has content out of the ass. I love it. Wait. I think it's the best gameplay in the series and also in terms of content and extras. It's really good. Although it's not very difficult. To it. Skills like sheath and expose kind of break the game. As 
far as story, though, it's a little underwhelming. I think everyone knows that the cast is not that great. Mostly due to the fact that Van, the main character, and Vanilla, the side main character, are, like, not relevant to the plot whatsoever. Makes it hard to connect a little bit. But yeah, gameplay-wise, extras-wise, content-wise, for my money it's the best. I think it's the most underrated game in the series that people are finally coming around to. The rest of the run is really easy. Final Fantasy XIII, steaming pile of garbage. I really have no more to say about that game. That game is just, just horrible. The fact that you wasted like more than half a decade on lightning games is unforgivable. The game plays itself. It's not fun. It's not interesting. The characters are horrible. Really not much more to say. Oh, thank god, here we go. There's that one. First part done. Uh, let's take out Z. Yeah, let's take out Laura too.
chain magic. It's pretty dope. clarify. I said Final Fantasy 13 kind of plays itself, and I realize there's some naysayers out there that would say, well Final Fantasy 12 plays itself, which is true to an extent, but you're actually setting up all the motions in Final Fantasy 12 and adjusting it to the battles, whereas in 12, or I'm sorry, whereas in 13, you're literally just pressing auto battle every single time.
probably the other probably pretty low well on this. Because I think I'm getting this a little bit you know, have access to it. I did the second expansion pack, Heaven's Word. Heaven's Word. That's as far into it as I got. I think that's level 60. And I just kind of lost interest and I never played the other expansions, but the one thing I liked about Final Fantasy 14 was the trials, which were sort of just boss fights for a group or a raid or whatever. I thought those are I think those are really cool. I, really like them. I like the concept of them. Rather than just the traditional instant super boss. Just go straight to the boss and make the boss super complex. Have a lot of mechanics that people have to know or else you're not gonna win. So that's cool. I like it. And I mean Yeah it's it's just not my thing. I don't really have time for it. Time or patience. I, I feel like I've, I don't know, I've kind of solved the MMO genre, and it's just not really for me. If you like it, you do you, man. It's all good. I will say though, actually, uh, Final Fantasy XIV is so hard to recommend that game. They might have fixed it at this point, but. Um, 
for those who don't know, on your first character in your first class, you'll typically follow a main scenario that's just going to be constantly going and will constantly be the quest you're following, and you can just basically play that out until max level. Which is nice, I guess you could call it a tutorial for your first job. First class, whatever. But, um, there's a section after the base game, and in between Heaven's Word, where it's just mindless fetch quest after fetch quest for hours and hours and hours. And it's so mind-numbingly boring. I don't know how I ever got through it. I don't know how anyone has ever gotten through that. It's so bad. So if you're gonna play Final Fantasy XIV, I really, really recommend you buy a story skip potion. Because it's unbearable. But like I said, I think they would have fixed that by now. I hope so, because it's such a turn-off to the game. And I'm in a boss fight here. I should pay attention to this.
few levels though at least. What do you say, fat boy? Let's go. but I don't think the steel ring is very good. Oh, I can just escape, can I? Wait, hold on. There are two stairs? No, I didn't miss anything. Okay, just making sure. I have pretty severe short-term memory loss. So. my stuffs. Alright, Final Fantasy 15, I can just about end, the, end this facade. Stop talking about Final Fantasy doing so good. Uh, I thought it was okay. I never beat 15. I got reasonably far. I just got kind of bored though. I will say that, like, it has heart. It's just not very good. <laughs> like, it wasn't very challenging. There wasn't really variety in any of the mechanics. It just kind of held circle to attack. Sometimes you could be flashy, but there was never really any need to. Um, I didn't like the open world formula. I'm, I'm really not big in open world stuff. How that's kind of just dominated the market for the past few years. Um, I mean the characters were okay. I like playing music in my car driving around, but yeah, ultimately it just didn't draw me in, so that and two are the only ones I never beat. Single player ones I never beat. But if you like it, I'm not gonna argue with you. Seems like it was pretty good. I watched the movie too, because it came in my deluxe edition, and that was incredibly underwhelming. As far as 
non-mainline games go. I actually haven't played too many of them. The Tactics series is really up there for me though. Love Tactics, love Tactics Advance, Tactics Advance 2, a little bit less but still. Good stuff. You know, Final Fantasy 10 I thought it was decent. 13 2 and 3 I did not play, and I have no plans to. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus I never played. <laughs> uh, Crisis Core, I played a little bit of Crisis Core, I never really got into that though. I was borrowing a PSP, I didn't get the chance to finish it. I had to rank the mainline games. How would I do it? Oh, that means picture games. Now I'm gonna die. Great. Literally, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Almost. Say, should I count down? No, let's not count down. Let's let's go from. Oh, I hope I reach it. Yeah. My favorite is ten. Yeah, I know that's probably unpopular, but I think ten's my favorite. You know what? I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it by tiers. So in the top tier, I'm not gonna I'm try to have like three or four maybe for each. And it's a rest. Did I also rest? That wasn't paying attention. Yes. Top tier 10, 12, 9. High tier seven six seven six. Oh, I can this up.
long one. Sorry, it's mostly just me being dumb and meandering. It's still pretty lengthy. Don't think we get blue yet either. Alright, so I'm gonna tier the Final Fantasies now. In S tier, I have, as I said, 9, 10, 12. My personal favorites. Obviously, this is a personal list. It's probably mostly the same. The only one I think that would really be divisive is 8. I feel like people either really love 8 or really hate 8. And I'm one of the few that just has it kind of in the middle. Oh, I gotta sell stuff. That's what I'm trying to do. S, 9, 10, 12. A tier. 6, 7, 11. Sorry, not concentrating on nothing. Um, S, 9, 10, 12, A, 6, 7, 11, B, B tier, is 8, 14, 4, and 5. C tier is 1 and 15. And D tier is 2, 3, only. We'll see if rumors of uh, 16 being set in Ivalice are true. That would be amazing. Dare to dream though. Alright, where's the storage here? Dare to dream. Is this it? Yeah, okay. If I had to put Tactics on there, I'd probably put Tactics in S. Tactics Advance in A, and Advance 2 in B. Yeah. 